Yeah, good morning YouTube. So I wanted to wrap up this inside look at this Peace Fair panel meter. So this is the AC power, energy, voltage, and current meter. This is the 061 version and that's the wiring diagram has the 100 amp external current transformer. So there's many variations of these available. So there's a version like this and it's a 20 amp instead of 100 amps and it uses an internal current shunt to measure the current instead of having the external current transformer. And then there's also this uh, PZEM002 and versions of that. This one has the shunt, so this is a 100 amp version. There's also a 20 amp version without the shunt. And this one's different in that it has a single value display. There's a screenshot of one. And it's got the four button up, down, set, and OK. And this version actually has five values. There's volts, amps, watts, watt hours, and then also hours. So that would be similar to what you get on a something like a P3 kilowatt meter. You get volts, amps, watts, kilowatt hours, and then also the hours. The one thing you do need to be aware of with these variations this is one of the 20 amp versions and if you can notice here the wiring is a little bit different. Here you had current transformer on the top, voltage on the bottom. This internal version has current flowing through the outer terminals and then voltage on the inner terminals. So you need to make sure you read the wiring diagram because they are different. This is again is a 20 amp internal version. There's no external current transformer. And there is one other one that I've found that is similar to this but it's got a taller screen, almost a square screen, bare board version. I think it's called the PZEM BR2 and it has three readings and it seems to indicate that it has some sort of peak hold capability on the current and maybe the power. So it's kind of like your clamp-on ammeters that have a peak hold capability. So if you're trying to measure inrush current, it will capture the highest current that it saw. There's this other line of AC meters I've found called the PZEM004. It has the same four readings, but these are LED readouts. The difference with these is, over here, there's a serial data output header. There's four pins, power ground, and then transmit and receive data. And that's a TTL serial data. And here's another variation of that, the 004T which is a bare board version, doesn't include the display or the display driver chip, just has the microcontroller and the power IC uh, similar to the this one here. So you can see it's very similar to this, but this one has the two optocouplers to your serial data connector over here. So this that's the 004T so that's a bare board version. And I think that wraps up all of the AC meters that I've found and the variations. There's also a line of DC meters. So this is the PZEM051, which has either a 50 or a 100 amp shunt. I've seen listings describing both values. There's also a 031, which has an internal 20 amp shunt. There's a 101 model that lists a 100 amp shunt. They have the same four readings, volts, amps, power, and energy, but they read uh, 6.5 to 100 volts DC, and then either 0 to 20 or 0 to 100 amps. I think that wraps up the DC meters that I've found. I haven't found any DC meters with the serial data, 
there only seems to be this one line of DC meters. My next step is I, I want to pick maybe two or three of these to try to get in-house so I can test them out and see how they work. So I'm thinking about getting one of these. This might be a neat meter to hook up to a solar charge controller. You could either have this on the solar panel input side and see what the voltage and power coming off your solar panels is. Or you could put it, say, on the charge controller output. Or, and then I think I want to get either this one or this one with the serial data connector. See if I can uh, interface this to uh, an Arduino, possibly, with a, a little Wi-Fi wi radio and then have this device here talk to my home automation system. And I've seen some projects along those lines, although not with this exact combination. So I think this would make a really neat energy monitor for a home automation system because you could get this cost down to under $20 per circuit that you're monitoring this is really quite interesting. At that price point, you could do a lot of uh, interesting things there. So I think I will try to get a hold of a few of these meters and circuit boards. And if anyone has any suggestions or ones that they've looked at or want to look at, post that up in the uh, comment section down below the video. And then if you found this video helpful or interesting, give it a thumbs up. You can stay tuned for following videos where I, when I get these in-house and I'll show you how they work. And if you want to do that, there's a link to subscribe to the channel down here in the lower right corner. And as always, thanks for watching.